Hi everyone. Wow, listen to that cheering. Great fun. Well done, a big thanks to the organisers of the Bull Year Bike Sports. There's more at the end of this presentation, so stay tuned. We also owe a big thanks for two members of our team, Jenny and Peter, who provided the footage for this presentation. Yes, the Bike Sports has been a big event in Bullia recently, and Chappie Chris and I missed it, sadly being out of town. Did you manage to get there? If you didn't, maybe this footage will inspire you to be sure to attend next year. A real shame to miss out on an important event. Life is a mixture of events, small, big, and at times, actually, most times, non-events. That's when we appreciate having an event. As we know, there are sad events, tragic events, happy events, fun ones, memorable ones, and joyous ones too. On the annual Bull Year calendar, we have such events as the Diamonds and Dust Ball, our famous camel races in July, Easter races, rodeo and camp draft, the Bullia QCWA Spring Fair, the Georgina Cricket Ashes at Urundangi, Christmas in the Park for the kids, and no doubt many others. And of course, you have your share of events in your area. All great and a shame to miss out on any of them. Down through the ages, there have been great events, royal weddings and sadly funerals, the soon to come coronation of King Charles. And of course, on the Christian calendar is the Advent season and the celebration of that first Easter where the Romans and the Jews did away with our Lord, leaving ordinary folk thinking it was a great tragedy, but really it was a victory over sin and death, providing an opportunity for all to be reconciled to God. Yes, certainly a great event, which we take for granted when God stepped down into human history. It's incredible to some, fantastic to some, miraculous to others. A future major event will be the return of Christ as foretold in the Bible, and we need to be ready for that. Over the event of the bike races, there was a lot of dust around. It was hard to see for it. Spiritually speaking, many folks have had the dust clear for them. They decided there was truth in the Christian gospel. Their spiritual eyes were open to see these truths, which to other folks seem to be too fantastic to be true, or purely unclear and uncertain. Some would even shun the truths about a God who loved the world so much that he demonstrated this by stepping down into our history and into our world to do something about it. The Christian message known as the Gospel, also known as the Good News, is about power to change for the better and about living lives of purpose and hope for which we were created. It is said that two great events personally were the day that you and I were born and the day you and I found out the reason why. We celebrate the when each year when we submit to our birthday wish lists to our families. We found out why when the dust cleared, enabling our spiritual eyes to see that the Christian message is to be embraced personally. And that there is power there, God's power to bring about change for the better power to change despair to hope, aimlessness into purpose, selfishness into selflessness, and sorrow into joy. Yes, God is at work in the world bringing change, bringing folks to an understanding of the real issues of life, and His Spirit works in our lives. For some, it may be the sudden realisation or conviction of their need for God to fill that God-shaped empty space inside that he only can fill. For others it may be that our Lord is taking us through stuff that's tough, giving us the opportunity to trust him to carry us through. The Bible says we are his workmanship, and we've heard that before. God is patiently bearing with us in our rebellion and disobedience, forgiving us, all the time patiently perfecting us as his people, 
as we learn and grow in our knowledge of him. I rather like the analogy of the bike and rider with us and God, by the way. The rider has the bike with power. How foolish to push your bike when you know full well that it has the power to help you win your race. How foolish are we as Christians to attempt life on our own when there is power in the name of Jesus to help us, to provide for us, to guide us, even to change the mind of kings. Wow. The Gospel, the story of Jesus, has the power to save us from ourselves and an eternal separation from heaven and the good life that awaits us there. Not to mention the good life that we enjoy now. Remembering, of course, the greatest event will ultimately be that celebration in heaven, not to be missed, the marriage supper of the Lamb. Let's share a prayer. Lord, thank you for the gospel that changes lives for the better and empowers me to live as your child. It's a tough world out there, Lord, and I am so thankful that I do not face it alone. I have your spirit living in me, empowering me, clearing the dust from my eyes so that I can see and know you more clearly day by day. Amen. Well, that's about all, folks. Stay tuned for more bike sports. Goodbye for now. Go, 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 go. Wait for last one, huh? Wait for last one, huh?